The recall campaign for Comox Valley MLA Don McRae is not yet officially underway, but the war of words between his supporters and the people who want him removed is heating up. We first showed you yesterday on Vancouver Island Report how McRae's campaign team was in trouble with Elections BC over advertisements it had placed in local papers. Now, similar messages are showing up in mailboxes around the Comox Valley. A news reporter Gord Kerbis has the story. When they hit the local newspapers, these advertisements raise the ire of those planning a recall of Comox Valley MLA Don McRae. Now that they're reaching local mailboxes, organizers are even more upset. It's an interesting ad. It's, a, it's false information. It's very highly colored information. It's, um, it's, it's almost a threat in itself. The mail outs that have been appearing in Comox Valley homes is almost identical to the ones in the paper, telling people not to be intimidated by NDP outsiders who come to their door with petitions. It says the recall is a secret plan by NDP President Mo Sahoda. Catherine Askew says the ads may actually be working against the Liberals. And she recounts how one person on the Oak Bay Gordon Head voters list reacted. The person there said, you know, I wasn't going to bother signing that petition against Ida Chong. But now that McRae has sent this to my door, I am incensed. Comox Valley voters we spoke with today had mixed reactions to the ads and the recall campaign itself. No, it wouldn't influence me at all, no. I'm, I'm not in favor of the recall. I'm okay with the tax. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think money should be wasted on the recall. I agree. I think it should be a, re, a recall on that. And I actually really hope that it goes through, right? One of the main complications with this whole issue is the fact that there isn't yet any official recall campaign underway in the Comox Valley. That's not expected to start for at least several more weeks. Because of that, Elections BC must treat any advertisement as being directed towards the Oak Bay Gordon Head recall. That's quite a distance away, unless you consider the fact that at least 10% of the people on that voters list have relocated to other parts of Vancouver Island. Meanwhile, Don McRae was out of town today and nobody from his office was able to comment on the campaign, but interviewed on the topic previously, McRae was quite adamant about who's involved in the recall. Well, I think it's very obvious if you uh, see the press releases put up by uh, the news media about the NDP and Mosahota, they want to uh, basically refight the 2009 election. It's very, very clear about that. They're looking for ridings where the NDP feel that they can uh, force a by-election and basically change the way Democrat uh, ideals are fought in this province and it, it's the wrong thing to do. The official date for the Valley's recall won't be determined until after organizers evaluate the response to a special event featuring Bill Vanderzam held in Courtney on Saturday evening. In the Comox Valley, Gord Kerbis, A News.